So guys, welcome back to Drill's Point. Now we are in a uh, we are in the middle of a lecture. We will be discussing the layouts for Android application development. In the last lecture, we saw about linear layout. We even had a practical demo where we discussed the properties of linear layout. Now linear layout is not used that much because of its complexity and it's become it's and becoming difficult to add the layouts one after the other. So then we came up with the next few that is the, or the next layout that we call as the relative layout. As a word. You know, suggest that if you are having a layout, then all the children of this particular layout are in relation with each other. Now, by relation, I mean that they are somewhere aligned based on the position of the former or the next child. So, a relative layout is a view group that displays the child views in the relative positions. So, now let's look at the properties by which we can use and align the layouts on our own way. So the very first property is the ID. It's very clear that the we have discussed it previously also. The ID is a unique name given to that particular view group or layout. Then after this is the layout above. By this one, you know, like we can define that you know which layout or which ID or which layout ID is above it. Then in a similar way, we can have a line bottom. In this way, you know, we can have a view matching the bottom edge of the given view ID. We define it on the basis of at the rate, the package and the name of the uh, layer that we are having. Like, like we can have it something like at the rate ID, then we can have text one, something like this. Then we are having a line left. It makes the you know the left edge of that view match the left edge of, edge of the given view ID, and it must be referenced with another resource. As we have discussed, this is another resource. We need to refer this. So that uh, the you know, the UI can arrange both the views in relation with each other. In a similar way, we we are having a layout like you know uh, we have a top also. In similar way, we even have aligned to parent, aligned to top, aligned parent in center. Don't worry about the properties; they would be coming up when we when we would be taking our uh, demo in our Android Studio. So after this, we are having gravity. Gravity is, you know, like how based on some of the position of the screen, how you want your your children of the child of the layout to be present. Gravity can have some values like top, bottom, left, right. Then we have center, vertical, and center horizontal, and so on. And the last one is when you want to ignore the gravity, you set the property as Android ignore gravity. In in this property, you would be actually able to ignore the gravity, and the layout can uh, work on its own without or you know ignoring the position mentioned in the gravity. So now let's open our Android Studio, create a new project, name the project as Relative Layout Demo, and then you would be having some by default uh, content present in the activity from main.xml. This content would be having some buttons, but it would be in the relative layout, and you would see that you know these all buttons or these all relations would be in relation with the particular view or a view group. So in this way, all these three like we are having two buttons, uh, a linear layout and edit text. So all these would be you know linked with the with one or the other view, making the positions of all these uh, of the, all these layouts or views relative in nature. So that was all about the relative layout from our end. Stay tuned as we will be taking now having a demo session where in we will be having the actual working of all these properties or attributes of relative layout. So guys, uh, welcome back again. Uh, as we have already seen, like how a relative layout looks like, what are the properties of relative layout? Now let's see a demo wherein we would be actually seeing the working of a relative layout. Uh, so as I already told you that a relative layout is a layout in which all the positions of the elements are in relation with each other. So in this demo, we would be having two uh, XML files. One would be there for the purpose of illustration, in which you would be seeing what all properties are. How do we play with them? How do we align them? And how do we move around with the with those properties? After this, then in the next thing we would be covering the a, a live example of a login screen wherein we would be actually having a login screen designed fully on basis of a relative layout. So let's get started. As you can see in my layout folder, I'm having two files. One is a activity underscore main dot XML and the other is a login underscore example dot XML. So I start off with the activity underscore main dot XML and I end up in a file in the text editor file format. I go to my design view to see how my application looks like. So here I'm having around one, two, three, four, seven controls. All these seven controls would be uh, in somewhere or the other using some properties of the relative layout. So 
as you can recall that we have uh, seen about the properties like layout above, layout align below, layout align left. So let's get started with this first button which is on the left hand side of the screen. So the button 1 is a button 1 which is having align parent top property true. So which means that this button should be aligned to the top left corner of the relative layout. So here's this button aligned to the top left corner of the relative layout. So after this we see that we have a text view that is TV2 that is this one which should be aligned at top right corner of the relative layout. Now these two views are in no relation with each other but they are aligned or they are in focus with the standard layout parent that is the relative layout. Now let's have a look at this one which is the button 6. If you can see that button 6 is somewhere or the other related to the button 1 as we can see over here. So let's see how it looks like. So here's my button 6 which is to the right of button 1 and is below of button 1. So this is a way in which we actually refer our buttons or we ref give reference to our views. All the views in this layout are in relation with each other. This is the best feature or this is the why this is the reason why we actually use relative layout a lot. So we have seen that how this one is, how this one is, how this one is. Now this is a button which is